everything. I also brought my five minute journal and this book called It Ends With Us. Guys, I am stressed. It is 6 a.m. I have not slept at all. I was getting ready to leave and my dishwasher started overflowing and like I can't check in online for some reason and I'm just stressed. But I'm also excited because I'm going back to LA. I'm gonna see all my friends. I'm gonna be able to see the apartment again. And just like being back there will be really nice. But I just need to get on my flight first. <laughs> Guys, I've made it to LA. I'm so happy. That was stressful though. The airport situation was stressful. I ended up getting there like three hours early, which thank God, because I would not have gotten on my flight if I didn't get there that early. Somehow my name got put in wrong and like they had like my name as like Brianna Renee with no space. So whenever I try and check in, it was like, you don't exist. So I ended up having to like go up to like a person who was able to like fix it and stuff. That took an hour. And then going through customs took so long. It was like an hour and a half. I swear, if I would have gotten there 20 minutes later than I did, I would not have made my flight. But once I got on the plane, it was all good. I even had the whole row to myself, which was, that is the best. Like, who needs first class when you can have the whole row of economy? So that was a couple days ago. I've been in LA just like chilling. I went to Malibu, got some cute photos, had just like an aesthetic day, went to Malibu Farms. The food was so good. I have not eaten there in like three years. I also saw Nikki DeMar in concert, which she's coming here in like an hour. I have to let her in because she's going to be staying at this apartment. But she did so good. Apparently that was only her second concert ever and she like nailed it. I've just been really enjoying my time in LA, catching up with friends. Being back here was a little bit of an adjustment because I'm in the same apartment that I lived in. It's like weird being back here. It's kind of trippy. I felt like I traveled back in time for a minute. Except there are a few things that are different that I'll show you. There is now a stripper pole in the living room. Room. Adeline is insane, but I haven't really tried it yet. I kind of want to see if I can do it. I have no arm strength, so this is not going to be good. <laughs> I'm literally so mad at this. I didn't realize the stripper poles like turn like this. Lou is unbothered. Okay. Guys, I have no strength. My old room also looks so different. This is the master bedroom, so Adeline decided to move in, and it is like a completely different room. I have to admit, it does look better than when I lived in it, but I do miss my cloud wall. That was iconic. I also really miss this view featuring Adeline's jeans. And blue, I missed her too. And she's a material girl now with her little Prada. Okay. I don't even own Prada. But I think the highlight of my trip so far might be the fact that Adeline did a closet clean out, which means I got a bunch of new clothes. Me and Alex were like digging through the pile, just finding things. Homegirl has way too many clothes and I love that because it means I get clothes. I'll show you guys some of my favorites. Okay, so I got this pair of black leather pants. Ah, a moment, a statement. I have black leather pants, but not like the super shiny material, you know? This dress is a moment. I wasn't sure if my tits were gonna fit in it, but honestly, it works. Oh my god, this set though, I feel like I need to try it on for you guys. It's so cute. I'm obsessed with it. This set is everything. Ah! I think the pants were just too long for her. That's why she got rid of them, but they fit me. I also got the Girls Supporting Girls Pink Velour set, which I'm so excited about. I've been wanting this. And I finally, I finally got it. Look at the back. Ah! I'm obsessed. I decided I need to put the pants on for you guys because they're too good. And this top, oh my god, look at this. Look at this. I love being friends with people who get free clothes. I honestly don't know how I'm gonna fit all this stuff in my suitcase, but if there's a will, there's a way. And I have a lot of will to get these clothes in there. I did more when I lived in LA was come to the beach. I feel like I didn't do anything when I lived here. And this visit, I've just been doing it right. I've been doing things every single day. I've been just living my life and having a good time. It's been really nice. So I walked a little bit of the ways here and then I also took the birds, which I don't know why I never use those. When I lived here, I literally used them once and it was on a date and that's it and I never use them again. And since like on this visit, I've used them like 
10 times. I don't know why I didn't do that before. <laughs> Without having a car, it's the best way to get around. So yeah, I walked a little bit of the ways here. I took a bird a little bit of the ways and I was just feeling so thankful and blessed and feeling good about my life. And then this man like started yelling at me and like telling me not to film him. I'm like, sir, no one wants to film you. It's just like a reminder that, oh yeah, LA has its quirks. The beach is like basically empty today though. It's so crazy. I swear, people who actually live in LA don't go to the beach. When I lived here, I didn't go to the beach, but since I'm visiting, I'm at the beach. I also brought my five minute journal and this book called It Ends With Us. I don't think I've ever gotten more replies to an Instagram story before ever in my life as I did when I posted this. I was not expecting it at all, but there's so many people telling me that like I'm in for a wild ride and that like <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I'm only like one and a half chapters in right now, but I do really like it and I haven't read fiction in a long time, but I want to start reading more. I feel like I've been seeing so many YouTubers reading and people on TikTok talking about their favorite books and I kind of miss reading because like when I'm into it, I'm into it. I just like get out of the habit of reading. I stop and I don't think about it, but I want to be, I want to be that girl who reads. I'm just about ready to head back to the apartment. My phone's about to die and I've really done everything I came here to do. I journaled, I read, I brainstormed and I've just like been reflecting on things as I do. <laughs> While I was at the Nicki DeMar concert, I ran into TK and Alicia and I ended up talking to them for a while and TK especially was asking me so many questions about my channel and my content and she was just giving me so much good advice. And they were, I just feel like I had the best conversation with them and a lot of what they said stuck with me. And they emphasize how important it is to take time to brainstorm and come up with ideas. So that was something that I really wanted to do while I was here. And I think I did come up with a couple ideas that I'm excited about, but apparently I need to be brainstorming every single day, which is like a lot, but I'm just feeling, I'm feeling motivated. I don't know, I, I don't put too much emphasis on motivation anymore because I realize that motivation is so fleeting and it doesn't really change that much. I feel like motivation matters to an extent but it's more so like discipline that I need to work on and you know, doing it every day, that's discipline. I feel like I'm constantly just trying to like achieve things and I achieve some of them and I don't achieve others. I'm like this weird middle ground. Like I view myself somewhat successful and somewhat as a failure, which is obviously not great to say, but that's where I'm at. In some parts of my life, I'm so proud of myself and how far I've come and in other parts, I'm like, Brie, you dropped the ball. I don't, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I think I need to go home. I'm just like rambling and I'm completely losing my train of thought, but just know I've been doing a lot of thinking today at the beach. Okay, it is quite a bit later now. I am back in Toronto, but I wanted to show you guys the clothes I bought while I was in LA because I actually got some really cute stuff and some really good deals. And I only spent $200, which is like really good. So basically there was one day me and Alex wanted to go shopping and I was like a little stressed out because I was like, first of all, I can't fit very much in my suitcase. Second of all, I really shouldn't be spending money right now. So I had like a prepaid US credit card and I only put $200 on it, which meant like for coffee, food, clothes, I could only spend $200. And I actually like spent less than that, which I'm very proud of myself. For a second there, I thought I was gonna borrow money from Alex so that I could buy more, but I didn't, I was good. and I. I actually got some really cute stuff. One thing I got is actually the hoodie I'm wearing right now. It's just from Brandy Melville. It's very comfortable. I love their like oversized hoodies. It just goes with everything. And then I guess I'll just show you the other thing I got from Brandy Melville, which is these little like dark brown, I don't know what you'd call these. Like they're not really biker shorts because I feel like they're too short to be biker shorts. I don't know. I just think it's really cute to wear this with like oversized stuff. We also walked into this random store, which I had never heard of before. I'd never seen before, but everything was so cute and so cheap but I only had like literally $20 left on my card at this point, so I could only get one thing. I ended up getting a basic, but I'm, I'm excited about it. It looks pretty cute on. I'm actually not sure what the name of the store is because I don't think it is the, I don't think it's what's on the tag, which just says signature eight. But this is what the dress looks like. Very simple, very cute. The material feels really nice as well, but honestly, if I would have had more money, I could have bought so many things in that store. Now moving on to the place where most of my money went, Urban Outfitters. But every single thing, oh, 
Every single thing except for one thing <laughs> was on sale. And I thought the one thing was on sale until I looked at the tag and then I realized it wasn't, which was a little heartbreaking, but I bought it anyways because it just looked really good on. So the first thing I got is this sweater, which was on sale. Boom, very cute. I obviously live in a cold climate, so this is nice to have. I got this for $20. Pretty good if I say so myself. Originally I tried this on in an extra large, but it was a little too baggy. So I ended up getting it in an extra small. This item, I don't know if I really needed it. I just bought it and I feel like I could have done without it, but <laughs> I don't know, I was in a shopping mood. So I bought it. It's like this cropped green like jacket, I guess like a corduroy jacket. And this was on sale for also $20. So it's like not that bad. It's not like that much regret, but they only had it left in extra small. So I got that. I would have preferred it probably in a small, but it is what it is. <laughs> the last sale item I got was this white shirt. I think this was $10. Yeah, this was $10, that's pretty good. So it just looks like this. If you see this, it says 20, but it was like, you take 50% off what was on the tag. And I got this to match the full price item that I got, which Alex also agreed I needed. <laughs> But this was $50. It was just like these brown pants, but I feel like the way they fit was just really flattering and they have this slit at the bottom. That like, I don't know, just the way it laid on my body, I was like, I look good. It, I just, I, I bought it. And honestly, I'm not mad. I stayed in my $200 budget, so we're good. But I am honestly a little bit shocked that everything fit in my suitcase. I spent about an hour rolling all my clothes, like as tightly as I could, because I was concerned. I put all the heaviest stuff in the carry on so it like wouldn't be overweight and I really just finessed. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I don't even remember everything I talked about because it was so long ago, but I remember, I remember I spoke a lot from my heart. I'm in a weird mood right now. I'm gonna end this video. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon with a brand new video. Bye.